I guess we have another quadruple challenge array addition here, minimum complexity. So in this challenge, we'll determine if numbers in array can be added uh, to a certain number in the array. Uh, so again, so we have array function that takes uh, array of numbers sorted, uh, stored, not sorted, stored in array returning st string true if contains numbers is array excluding the largest num excluding the largest numbers can be add up equal to largest number in array uh, otherwise return false uh, for example if array four three blah 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 uh, if we add all other lower numbers we'll get 23 uh, uh, so again we also array is not empty we don't need to worry about that uh, or, and also will not contain the same elements. So means if it's 223, we don't need to worry about. Um, remove this implementation from previous run that wasn't successful, uh, by the way. So uh, uh, we have two examples, again, negative as well, uh, to run it. So from implementation perspective, We'll add more commands here. So we'll sort array in ascending order and remove the largest number. So uh, so we sort it and return it and pop it the largest one. Uh, and after that, we will check if we'll check if any. Uh, if any combination of numbers in array excluding the largest numbers can be adding up to largest numbers in array. That's uh, and our main function out there. So is contains out there. So I will let's see if it will work here. So is contains. So again we have. Uh, uh, array in our target. If array is empty, ch uh, check if it's zero, so it will be easy. We're still checking. So again, probably it's redundant. Get the first element in the array and the remaining uh, elements. Uh, so we got that and check if target can be reached by subtracting first element from target and checking if remaining elements contain combinations that adapts uh, to, uh, up to results or check if remaining elements contain the combinations that end up with the target. So we have this construction and we will return it. So yeah, let's run the, uh, let's run the code. We got false. As expected, uh, we have, let's run this, it's true as expected, and they have another tricky one that we didn't knock it out with previous implementations. We'll run the code and we'll get false as I believe expected. So for that matter, again, let's clean up. Uh, uh, so we got correct, correct, yes, because it will be predefined, it. and let's submit. Let's Let's see what's happened. Yeah, we will submit solution. Again, as usual, they run additional uh, test cases behind the scene. So yeah, yay, we learned it. So that point stuff so let's go through details so usually usually users uh, solve this even within 10 minutes but majority within like 20 minutes uh, again we got all points for use cases so all use cases were successful here and we cannot see incorrect out there so yeah so we have the code all commands so again guys if you would like to uh, uh, yeah, uh, copy this code with commands, but again, uh, you can get a strong description uh, in the video below. And if you would like to see any other solutions or in, in other languages, just let me know. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you next one.